A family that has made helping others a way of life says it's ready for a legal fight with Child Protective Services. Shelly and Brian Berman say a complaint to CPS about their family resulted in them losing a foster child they were trying to adopt. Fox 4's Dion Anglin spent some time with the Bermans today in Mansfield. Dion's in the Dallas newsroom with the latest. Dion. I did, Steve. Shelly Berman and her husband are passionate about special needs children who need permanent homes. Their plight with CPS is something we asked that state agency about as well. However, its response has been limited. Okay, you're all done. Keep putting them back. Praises for a job well done. Now you can get down. Afternoon nap time. Oh. Red shoes. Oh, mommy loves red shoes. Good choice. And excitement over a device that talks for one of her nonverbal children. It's a snapshot of daily life. Hudson, who's 12. Jackson, who's 8 with Shelly and Brian Berman's large family. Right now, currently at home, we have 15 children. Two of those are our biological children. That equates to 13 adopted children, all of them with special needs. Okay, just take her outside. Her biological son and daughter pitch in, along with several paid caretakers. It may look different than other people, but just because we have a uh, larger number than the average American family doesn't mean that there's something wrong. The Bermans reached out to Fox 4 to share a story of frustration and disappointment. A foster child they were hoping to make their 14th adopted child, 17-year-old Donovan, with them for seven months, was removed from their care after a CPS investigation. We are not showing his face because legally he is in the state's custody. He had, for the first time in his life, a mom and a dad. You know, my husband took him to games, his first baseball games, and what he can cognitively understand, we don't know, but we know he loved the chaos of the kids, he loved the noise, he loved his music. Berman says a hospital nurse complained to the agency the family was too big, considering the care their children require. The investigation findings? According to papers Berman shared with Fox 4, neglectful supervision, something she says stemmed from two boys found with bite marks on them last July. They had bit each other. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, somebody takes a toy. I mean, next thing you know, turn around. Um, somebody bit each other. We contacted CPS for a response, but the agency in a statement would only say CPS cases are confidential by law, including details related to children in foster care. We're not trying to win anything other than to bring Donovan back so that Donovan has his family and that the rest of my kids. One, two, three, go, hands up. With life ongoing, Shelly, a former special education teacher, and her husband, Brian, a Tarrant County Sheriff deputy, okay. hope they will find an attorney they can afford to help appeal the CPS decision. Just a little bit more. In the midst of it all, they hold fast to their heart's passion, providing family for children who they say are often overlooked. And we said that those children deserve just as much of a chance with the family and love, no matter how long their time or their capabilities. And that's just where we found ourselves drawn to. The Bermans say Donovan would be their first state adoption. The other children were all international or domestic private adoptions. Steve?